Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Byron Morton, who's VP of Leasing with MMPI, which stands for Merchandise Mart Properties, the company that hosts the Neocon show every year. Byron, how you doing? Doing really well today, Kemp. Thank you. Good to be with you. I guess the first question, you know, Neocon is less than a week away. What kind of show are you expecting this year? You know what? We're expecting a phenomenal show this year. I'm sure you've seen the theme for the show this year. It's, it's Place Matters. And it really talks about the importance of place, you know, whether it's in the office or hospitality or in a health and wellness settings. You know, we're expecting a great show. It's going to be the scene of several industry celebrations this year, including IIDA's 20th anniversary and actually the Best of Neocon's 25th anniversary. The sales team has sold out the 7th and 8th floors. The permanent showrooms are 100% occupied and pre-registered attendees is about 9% higher than it was last year. The hotel block is sold out or close to it. And one thing we're really excited about is that there are over 400 Best of Neocon entries this year. That's more than ever. Last year, we were right around 350. So, you know, all of our metrics, as well as just the overall condition of the industry and casual comments we hear from the folks we deal with every day, tell us that we're going to well exceed the 40,000 attendees we've had, again, for the third year in a row. Okay, I'm glad you brought that up. That was the next point I was going to make, is that this show already for the last couple of years has brought in over 40,000 A&D professionals. It is the place to go anywhere in the country if you want to see what's going on in the interior furnishings business. NECON actually stands for the National Exposition of Contract Furnishings. It's held always the second week in June. A couple of little things I definitely want to get into. One of them is you've changed the layout on 7 and 8. Talk about that if you would. Oh, absolutely. So the seventh and eighth floors have been reconfigured and arranged around vertical markets, architectural products, interior finishes, furniture and fabrics, as well as flooring, Mm -hmm. really to provide a more cohesive and easy way to navigate the temporary floors. The flooring area will be located on the seventh floor and will feature traditional broad loom and tile as well as, you know, resilient and raised flooring and solid surface, hardwood and other categories. You'll see companies there like Tanda Sentiva and Cardine, Lawn Seal and Pacific Crest, American Beltright, as well as some companies that, that go into restored hardwoods like Old Savannah. All right. So in, in years past, we've seen some flooring companies on eight and some on seven. Most of them now will be on seven. Is that what's happened? Yeah, you'll see a real concentration of flooring companies on the seventh floor. And we've done that with really all the architectural fit and finish type products and interior building products to really provide that more cohesive and easy to navigate experience for the attendees. Most of our audience that goes to Neocon already knows that you have permanent exhibitors on three, and then we have these floor seven and eight, which are temporary exhibitors. And then on 10 and 11, we have a lot of permanent showroom exhibitors and there's been some changes there too i know for a fact that atlas was on 11 they're down on 10 atlas has moved from the 11th floor down to the 10th floor and their space is just going to be tremendous they never disappoint with their design and the way they display their product deso also is taking a space near another one of the tdg companies and every year you have some great keynotes so definitely uh, as people are packing their bags i wanted to make sure that people knew what the options were. Every morning, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you have a keynote. Take us through a few of those, if you would. Oh, absolutely. We're always trying to strike the balance between design luminaries and architecture luminaries, as well as fresh and -and up-and-coming designers and architects. And then we're also trying to really expand our programming to include more thought-provoking subjects around the creative process, and I really think we've done that this year. Monday morning's keynote, which is presented by IIDA, is a guy by the name of Todd Bratcher. Todd is a renowned young designer who has his own studio in Brooklyn. He's done work in the past for Tom Dixon, George Jensen, 3M Architectural Products, as well as Fritz Hansen. He was named the ICFF New Designer of the Year in 2008, so we're really excited about him. Tuesday morning's keynote is an author by the name of Scott Barry Kaufman. Scott is a cognitive psychologist and author of a book called Ungifted Intelligence Redefined. He's spoken on his neuroscientific research on the creative process at Pop Tech as well as several TED conferences. And if he doesn't stretch the limits of some of our brains, I don't think anybody can. <laughs> we also have two keynotes on Wednesday, which is a first for us. The morning keynote is Adrian Smith, and 
course, is the principal of Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture right here in Chicago. While he's a local, he's done landmark buildings all around the world, including those in London and Dubai and Abu Dhabi, as well as Beijing. And he recently won the IIDA Red Award for furniture design for an upcoming furniture collection that he's releasing. Finally, Tom Ike, who's the chief technology officer and partner of IDEO. Uh, he'll be the second keynote on Wednesday. And he's really going to bring, I think, a unique insight on technology, the workplace and culture and their effects on productivity and design and you know, I've seen him speak, and his thoughts really are groundbreaking. Okay. They do start at 8, all of them except that last one, and it's on Wednesday at 9.30. So those, those should be interesting. And those are held, what is the name of that area where they are? All the keynotes are held over in the Holiday Inn Mart Plaza. All right, good. One of the things that's kind of a neat quirk of the Mart is the availability of elevators. So based on what I'm hearing from you, it sounds like we're going to be waiting on some elevators, aren't we? Well, you know, the benchmark of our show is elevator wait times, right? right? Exactly. And I think there'll be some lines, but we've also done some things this year to try to alleviate some of that wait time. You'll see elevators going directly to the show floors. Okay. And we've also painted and installed new lighting in several of the stairwells throughout the building. We've really developed a whole new wayfinding program that clearly marks all the elevators, all the stairwells, where the showroom floors are. Look for Neocon Coral. If you see Coral, that means you're going to get to a Neocon floor or event. Well, one last thing. We talked last year about the fact that you've got a new tenant on the 16th to the 20th floors. It's the uh, Motorola Mobility. It's a division of Google. How is that move in? I think that was being designed by Gensler. How's that going? Well, Gensler did, in fact, design it. They are completely moved in. They've been in their space now for about eight weeks. It's really brought an exciting level of energy to the mark. As a result of that, we've been able to upgrade the quality of retail and, and food service tenants that you'll see on the second floor during the show, mm -hmm. and also to accommodate them as well as all the other tenants in the building. It's really allowing us to plan for some exciting common area improvements over the next year. All right. Well, I look forward to being there. I look forward to seeing you, and I appreciate you spending time with us. Again, Neocon starts next Monday and runs through Wednesday, and we've been talking to Byron Morton, who's VP of Leasing with MMPI, about the expectations for next week, and you've been listening to Kemphar and FloorDaily.net.